freaking beer tap. Right? Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Hey, doggy guys, we are headed to go get a sick new side by side. I'm talking to my buddy uh, Leo over at Side by Side Blog and uh, telling him what I wanted. He's like, There's no freaking way you're gonna get a Polaris Pro Razor XP. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what this thing is, but it's the baddest of the bad of Razor side by sides. He said, There's no way you're gonna get one. I've had three on order for us and the guys here at Side by Side Blog. And we haven't even got ours yet. And we ordered them last November. So I'm like, watch me. Hop on the old computer. Get on Cycle Trader, I think it was. Something like that. And what do you know? There's one in the color blue. Because we are... Love some blue vehicles. That's for sure. In Ocala, which is only a 60-minute ride from the house here. Called them up this morning and said, hey, I need one that side-by-side -side right there. We got a deal struck. And what do you know? We're headed down there to go grab that baby right now. And uh, I'm freaking pumped. I, last time I had a side by side, I'll throw some pictures in here. I used to race, um, did the time trials and the woods racing and stuff in Alabama and Georgia and a little bit of Tennessee with back when I had my original 2014 Razor 1000. I think it was a Razor XP. It was when the Razors first came out, which was really cool. So pumped about it, ready to get back in the Razor life. And uh, here we freaking go. Let's go freaking get her. So we're still driving to the dealership, but I wanted to throw in the video how absolutely insanely loud the TRX's supercharger is while we're driving. And let me remind you folks, we've got like a 20 foot uh, bumper pull trailer behind us, and we are averaging a solid nine miles per gallon. <laughs> we're literally gonna burn a tank of fuel driving 120, 130 miles to go get it. But listen to this thing, we're gonna slow down, we're in tow mode. Uh, we're doing about 65. Listen to the freaking supercharger scream. Oh, it sounds so good. We'll see a diesel truck accelerate like that. So here she is, guys. Our what the heck? These loud motorcycles. Our 2022 Polaris Razor Pro R. I guess that's what it is. I'm not sure what this thing is, but. It's legit. It's the baddest one you can get right now. It's got a sound system, all that. I usually love having like a two door side by side or something, but I've got a family now. I've got a little boy and a little girl coming any day. So this thing is so sweet though. I see it's got a factory sound system in it. Dang. This thing is so legit. I cannot believe this thing costs so much. It's ridiculous. But it's so big, it's like a car. 225 freaking horse spurs. Guess you gotta hold the brake down to start it. Wow. It don't even sound like a side by side, it sounds like a car. Oh my goodness. Got a little antenna for the radio. Jeez, look at the engine. I already started it, yeah. Slingshot motor, it's naturally aspirated, so you're gonna have a full 225 horsepower and you're gonna rip it, man, so I hope you It's a lot more it. peppier, right, yeah. than the old turbos. <laughs> oh yeah, so you're about I've to been have having fun. a hard time finding one, because this is like the only one I can find pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you guys had it here? Um, honestly, we probably had it for, I would say, uh, three weeks the most. I have mean, you all sold many of them yet? No. Really? If anything, you're, uh, from this location, the fifth buyer, if anything, uh, we had a couple of, not the crews, but the single caps go out. But other than that, I mean, man, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to be on the top of the line when you're out there. Oh, yeah. I've had a few razors before. Well, I've got a family now and stuff like that, so I had to buy something that's more family-oriented. And... Okay. Well, yeah, this is definitely going to knock the socks off yeah, of your family. Yeah, and there you have it, guys. We're going to load this brand new 2022 Razor up and head home. And we're going to see what we can get into tomorrow with it and continue this video. This thing is an absolute freaking unit. I've been looking at how crazy, like, how this thing's built. I can't believe there's, like, a whole four-cylinder engine in the back of this thing. It's pretty nuts. But uh, let's hop in it and load it up. This thing sounds wicked.
Alright guys, so we're headed home from uh, picking up this Razor. And if you guys don't really know, I placed the front right axle, the CV axle, because it went bad. Now the front left. <laughs> we're almost at my buddy Brad's house. We're going to pull over there and see how bad it is. Guarantee the boots gone. So there was like a problem with Chrysler, and they're like boots on there. Or they would rip, and then the grease would come out. Or there wasn't. And what it was is there wasn't enough grease put in them from the factory. <laughs> the window up here. Jesus. <laughs> Any second now, it's gonna just blow apart and take out our brake lines. We're gonna wreck. Don't do that. <laughs> Go ahead. Brad, really good. So we stopped at Brad's house. The CV axle is absolutely smoked. Oh, that is no bueno, bud. Jeez. That's spicy. It, it feels hot. There's smoke. Obviously. That's spicy. I think we can just finish driving. <laughs> Sleeping on a job. They got a backup camera on it. <laughs> it's got a backup camera. Ooh, baby, this thing's bad. What is up, boys and girls? So, got this thing back home, and my little baby girl ended up coming sooner than we expected. So, we're up here with a couple day delay getting this video up. But uh, I'm the proud new daddy of a little girl. Her name's Amelia Jane Wilson. So, her and Amber are at the hospital right now. Um, they're only allowing so many visitors at a time. So her mom and her pop wanted to come up there and we couldn't have me there at the same time. So I figured I'd come home for a few hours, make some videos, and uh, take this new toy out for rip. So let's go let her rip, tater chip, and go see some friends and do some dirt road rides. This thing's so bad. So we'll put her in high. So smooth. I can't tear up my driveway.
one for the lonely hearts For the ones that fear the dark You better run out, run out out of here Bet you can look the other way Here's one for the broken road That's the only one you know You better run out, run out, truth or dare Get me out, take me anywhere but here uh-huh. Hey, I'll get a uh, the chicken and bacon flatbread. Okay. Getting a whole meal. And then uh, give me a strawberry smoothie too. Okay. That's all. Oh Thanks. no! Wait, can I get a cup of water? Yeah. That'll be it. Okay. <laughs> How did a pizza? Holy pizza. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Standard already.
Well, guys, we got it stuck already. We were going to crawl across the uh, things here, but I had not had a four-seater before, and I forgot this thing has a massive amount of wheelbase and no uh, high center. So, we got stuck. Got some scratches on the bottom of her already. I think we're at Paul's with all these tratters here. We'll get her picked up and get her going. Shout out to CLS Equipment. our razor pro this thing is insane it's doing i mean it's doing everything i never expected it would do the last razor i had was a razor uh xp 1000 it was a 2014 model um so i mean that was the only thing i ever had it was 110 horsepower i think is what those things were back in the day and this thing's 225 so double the power it's a lot heavier but man the performance is absolutely insane i'm in love with it Drop some comments down below. Let me know what other kind of side-by-sides you guys have or some really good riding spots around Florida. I'm not really big on the mud stuff because um, the mud will make this thing not last. It'll literally cut the lifespan in half. Uh, and I really want this thing for the family for us to load up and go to the mountains, do all kinds of cool stuff. So comment down below. Let me know what kind of rides you guys have. Or we can go ride where there's not as much mud here in Florida. And uh, if you want to see some more side-by-side -side content, definitely let me know. I'm super pumped. We're going to be getting back into a Will It Start video dropping uh, either tomorrow or the following day. Get ready for that, guys. We'll see y'all later. Peace out. I think you want something to happen. I think so. <laughs> it, would, it would be sweet, but not if it caused a wreck. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> scale of 
of one to drunk, how do you think Brad is? Give him an eight. An eight? An eight on the drunk scale? Yeah. You? Oh, shit. That's your turning. If we turn too sharp, it may, like, pop out, so right. be careful. Yeah, be careful, <laughs> please. The little ball bearings inside there have got to be just absolutely just 